Hey, my name is Vigaman and today I'll be showing you how to build this simple starter house. It's a very basic build using some of the first blocks you will find in your Minecraft world. So it's easy for you to get set up, get a nice place to live and get cracking with some proper Minecraft. So to begin this build, we are going to make the foundation and the layout for this build first. So let's start off with a block, some oak logs facing upwards like this. And then you want to go for three blocks and then another on one of these blocks and then another one of three blocks and then another one so we have three in a row like that what we want to do now is from this block move three blocks in and then three blocks and another one and then three blocks and another one so you have a shape looking like this this will be where the main house where the roof will be from this build here from this layout we're going to move out three blocks from this one so one two three and then another block and then one, two, three from this one, and then another block. So we have another square on this side, and then once more. One, two, three, and then block, and then one, two, three, and another one of these oak blocks. So we kind of ha have an L shape like this. Then what you want to do is to raise this up by four more blocks. So it will be five altogether. So one, two, three, four, five, or one, two, three, four, five together, but just four more blocks. The same goes here, one, two, three, four, like that. So we have five tall columns. We're gonna do that on all of these ones here. And then you can also go ahead and do it over here. We're gonna do a little bit more block placing right here. We're gonna make it them all the same height like this. So you're just gonna make them all tall like five blocks tall next up we're going to make some cross beams going over here to connect these columns together so three blocks like this three blocks like this and then three blocks like this and three blocks like that so you have this shape going here connecting all of these up we're not going to do it here because this is where the staircase going down will be on the other parts of the build though we're going to place one block there one block there and then do some some temporary blocks and then place another one like that so we have one facing outwards like this we're gonna do that on all these sides so you're gonna have to use a lot of temporary blocks but that shouldn't be a problem and do something like that and then another one of these around here on the back and then there's one more final one until we're done there we go so now we have connected all of the columns except these two where the path will be now we're going to add a little bit of more details we're going to take some more columns or block columns and place them on the sides of the existing columns like this on the corners so you have a shape like this and you're going to do that all the way around this is to symbolize that the cross beams has actually been stuck together somehow they've been uh, lafted on top of each other so now we have a basic design like this and you should have something exactly similar if you've been following this tutorial by point now what you're gonna do is to raise these blocks here this one two three four five six block here up by two more blocks two more blocks like this all the way around so now you can clearly see where the house will be and where the rest of the build will be now let's place in the walls we're gonna use spruce wood for the walls because this color is very similar to the oak log so it's it's not a big contrast but it also looks like a different texture which is really nice so we're just gonna raise it up on all the sides not in the middle because we're gonna have windows there so do that all the way around like this and then also on this side and then we're gonna use the dark oak wood stairs to make windows so what you're gonna do you want to place a block there and then an upside down stairs like that that is to symbolize a window on this side we're going to have a door so you're just gonna place one upside down and no one down here because it will be placed a door here on this side you're gonna do as the first one a stair and an upside down stair stair and upside down stair and stair and upside down stair for this part, you're gonna just place an upside down stair because this will be another door. This will be where you enter the build. Now, we're gonna spice it up a little bit by using some spruce stairs. So you're gonna place them a little bit randomly around here. Try not to make any patterns to, to make it look a little bit more worn down and a little bit more rustic, if you know what I mean. I'm just kinda of gonna spam them around. Make sure that where, where we're gonna have a window, you don't want to place 
uh, this next to it because the window won't connect to either side. So just kind of randomly place them around like this somewhere. I don't really have a pattern for it. Just do it randomly and it will look good most likely in the end. Before we start adding the roof to this build, there's a little bit more stuff we need to do to make the roof perfect. So what we're gonna do now is just make a small balcony out here using slabs like this and then fences on top like that. And then on this side where the entrance is, place slabs once again like this. Then you're gonna have like a step down here and then place the fences on the sides like this and then go up by two fences on the top of these columns and then connect these together with fences like that. Now we have the framework and we can start putting on the roof. For the roof we are going to use jungle wood. We're going to use the stairs and the slabs and try to make a very nice roof. So first off you want to go ahead and use your stairs and place them on all the corner blocks and also the middle block where the column is like this. Just do that all the way around and looks like a nice supporting structure to hold the roof up. Then what you want to do is to take your slab and then kind of connect them all together like this. All the way around so we have a nice border for our roof like that. And then we're going to also include this part here where we're going to just connect it straight over like that and straight over like that. So now we kind of have the shape of the roof. Then what you want to do is to grab yourself a jungle wood planks and then you're gonna go all the way around like this on top of the blocks like so and then you're gonna go inside one in one more block use the slabs and then just fill in very basic a very basic minecraft roof but we're gonna spice it up a little bit afterwards and then some jungle wood planks on top like that. Then we're going to do the same over here, but we're not going to make this as steep. So what you want to do is to take your jungle blocks and then do something like that. Just place like two normal blocks and then place a stair there, a stair there, a stair there, and that as well. And then place slab in the middle there and we get a little bit more, not as steep roof. Then we're going to try to spice it up a little bit because this looks very plain, very basic. We need to take it up a notch. So what we're going to do now is just place some random blocks. So let's place just a slab right there. Then perhaps two back here like that. Then maybe switch out this stair for a block. Uh, then a slab here. Then maybe, maybe two stairs here. Kind of to make it uneven. And then, you know, maybe, maybe a stair right there. You know, you can just kind of spice it up as much as you want to. Try to to change out some of the blocks to change how the, the, the roof looks. To make it look not as, as normal and try to make it a little bit uneven. Making it look a little bit more worn down and giving some more character to the build. So that is kind of what I'm doing now. Just switching out some slabs for stairs and switching out some full blocks for slabs, you know trying to spice it up a little bit and I think that is looking pretty good. Now we can finally see how the house will look in the end. What we're going to do is to continue a little bit more work here. So we're gonna use this as a temporary block and then place a 3x3 three three area of wood slabs or oak slabs like that and then we're gonna try to elevate down using a staircase. Just gonna use uh, slightly going down using the slabs like this going to have to place a lot of temporary blocks but that shouldn't be an issue right so we have a stair like that and then a platform up here and then it kind of wraps around here and leads into the house which is very nice then what you want to do is to take some oak fences and just place that on top like that to make just for a small detail and then we're gonna grab some normal buttons and then some stone buttons we're gonna take some fences, if I can find them in here. There we go. Some no, no, no I mean signs, of course. And then we're going to try to add a little bit of details. So what you want to do is to take normal buttons, like wooden buttons, and place them on the sides of all of these columns, just below uh, the jungle stair, all the way around, as a simple detail. And then you want to take a sign and place that on all of the like the cross beams and then you're gonna place 
a stone button in the middle like that. Of course you won't be able to do it here, but you're gonna do it on all the rest of them. So you're just gonna place signs and a button, signs and a button like that. So now we have some nice details. Then you want to take some wooden buttons again and place them on all of the out sticking wooden uh, columns, all the cross beams, and then just place them on all the sides like this as a nice little detail. For the next part we are going to need both an oak fence and a jungle fence. First off let's place some jungle fences in the gaps where the windows will be. That creates a very nice almost like a jungle feeling kind of a rustic window. It looks very very nice. And then you want to take your oak fences and kind of make this is kind of hard because you have to be random about it but make some kind of random pattern under here uh, kind of gonna look like it's supporting it a little bit almost like roots uh, trying to support the whole build so that is kind of what we're doing here just do some random fence placement below here I don't know it's it's kind of hard to get this right but you just have to work around a little bit with it try to change some block you're gonna do that all the way around like so and you should be good one more block here I guess like that and then we are all the way around it's starting to look really really nice and then as one of the final parts you just want to add uh, some floor in here so just gonna use oak slabs just fill it in all the way around like so and then we're gonna place in doors you're gonna use uh, jungle doors or arcade jungle doors there we go place them like that so what now we're going to just spice it up with some oak leaves uh, trying to to make it look pretty and then we're gonna add a little bit of flower pots just for the sake of prettification so just kind of spam them around a little bit like this it won't hurt your build I promise you but don't do it too much don't overdo it kind of just like a little bit around somewhere around the columns like this maybe going up like a little bit you know you try you kind of have to feel your way around with this uh, just add it somewhere not too much but kind of kind of spam it a little bit around like this I think it works kind of it just makes the build pop to another level and then as a final thing final touch to the outside take a flower pot and then take some blue orchids and then you want to place them somewhere around here kind of randomly just place them somewhere around maybe also on some of these these ones maybe on the back here I don't know just to spice it up a little bit how you want to do the inside is up to you but I've, I've given you a small example of how I would perhaps have done it uh, as a starter house we're gonna have a small bed here and a double chest we're gonna have an ender chest double chest and of course a little bit of uh, furnace and crafting table and kind of making it look pretty here with some paintings and some flower pots making it look really really nice but of course it is up to you I don't know what kind of needs you have for your starter house that is all for this tutorial thank you so much for watching guys I really do hope you enjoyed if so make sure to smack that like button and if you haven't done it already make sure to subscribe and all that stuff and I will see you all guys later it's been Vigo man and I'm out Hop, I'm as happy as I can be. Uh, whoa, whoa, whoa.